Alrighty guys, welcome to your 30 second video and in this video, as promised, what I'm going to do is show you guys how to code that, I forgot what I actually even named my method, where the heck is it, oh, grab HTML info, that's probably pretty important. So what I'm going to be doing is showing you guys how to code this method and basically what it does is it takes a look at our XHTML, or I guess this is just a basic HTML document, and it grabs the information that we need which is essentially the titles and the values so you know the last method that we coded basically did the advanced stuff now we just need to pretty much populate these two things the hash map and the array list so this is pretty much the easy part actually so private void grab HTML info doesn't take any parameters and the very first thing we want to do is we want to make a few variables to store the title, um, the address, URL, you know, just housekeeping stuff. So string title, because the title of the website is of course a string, string address URL, which, you know, I don't think I need to explain to you guys what that is, and the int counter and the reason that we need a counter, let's go ahead and start it is zero, is because you know how I said that I have two websites in here, um, you know, my main website and my Twitter, and each one pretty much has an ID number. The first one is zero, my Twitter is one, I could add, you know, my Google Plus, which is two, YouTube, which is three, so on and so forth. Since I want this to be compatible, no matter how many um, websites you have, I'm going to go ahead and make a loop that starts at zero and it's just going to loop until the end. So that way if you have 10 websites, 100, 1000, this program is going to work no matter what. So go ahead and start at zero and that's why I started my ID numbers at zero. Now after the int counter, what you want to do is you want to set the title you pretty much want to uh, kick start it off at zero. So title equals get parameter and the parameter is title plus counter so pretty much title zero so what am I doing in this well what this method does right here get parameter is it's gonna go ahead and return the value where title zero is so let's go ahead and look where is title zero right here so the value of this is the new boston org so in other words the very first title is equal to the new boston org so again the reason that i named everything title zero title one title two is because every time we want to you know get the value all we need to do is increment this counter through a loop and it's going to grab different titles so that's why you need to set up your naming conventions just like I did with the word title and the value right after it so now you know I, I keep talking about loops 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 let's go ahead and make the loop right now so while not white that's so racist so while title is not equal to null because basically check out what happens it's gonna loop through title 0 then it's gonna look through title 1 then it's gonna look for title 2 and title 2 doesn't exist so it's equal to null so that's what we're pretty much saying as long as you have you know websites then what do you want to do well what we want to do is the first thing we want to do is we want to grab the URL so we pretty much use the same functionality as here but instead of the title parameter we're going to use it for the address parameter so just store this in the variable address which is what we created up here so address equals get parameter address plus counter so the very first time that this loops through let's see what address zero is so since our our counter is at zero on the first loop it's going to head going to store the value of HTTP the new Boston org in the variable address now remember right now this is only a string and we can't have that because like I said our hash map 
only stores URLs. And like I said, Java can't open strings. It can only open URLs. So what we need to do is convert this to, our, to a URL object. So in order to do that, go ahead and put a try statement. And I actually want to just go ahead and catch this right now because I freaking hate catches for some reason. Malformed. I have to make sure I freaking spell this right. URL exception and I'll just name this I don't know URL exception and might as well handle this so URL exception we'll just print stack trace there we go so basically now that we handled why does it say oh I need to go ahead and write some try code in here alright so now what we want to do that we took care of the catch which is pretty much housekeeping stuff is convert this address which is a string to a URL object now we already have we already told um, Java that we're gonna make a URL object and store it in the variable URL so let's go ahead and say URL equals new URL now in order to convert a string to our URL object just go ahead and pass in a string right here and what this basically does is it runs this class and creates a URL object out of this string address. So basically every time that we loop through right now, it's going to grab the value from this string, or excuse me, the value from this parameter, which is just a string of text called address. And in this line of code, it's going to convert that to a URL object. So why are we converting it to a URL object? Well, because our class in it it uses a hash map which has a string which is the title of the website associated with the URL object so now since that's the case I think it would be a good idea to actually add this information into the hash map so remember our hash map was named website info and in order to add um, keys and values in order to add things into your hash map you actually need to use the object put so the first one as you can see is the key and the key here is title which is the title of the website and the value is the URL object which is of course if you couldn't guess URL so every time this little line of code runs it's gonna add a new item into your hash map the title and the URL so our first key value pair in our hash map is the new boston.org which is the title and the URL which is actually a URL object now that's much easier for Java this URL right here the next object that it's gonna add whenever it loops through the next time is Bucky's Twitter and Bucky's Twitter URL as a URL object so the last thing that we need to do is we need to add the crap to the titles array list. So remember when we created this titles array list right here? Well, let's go ahead and populate that. And this is uh, actually really easy. Write the name of your array list, which is titles, write add, and then write title right there. So remember, the title is pretty much that first thing we grabbed from that parameter, and we're just adding it to the array list, much like the same way that we added crap to, um, what was it called, the hash map. So now that our try catch is complete and all the housekeeping stuff is pretty much taken care of, outside your catch, you want to do two more things. The first thing you want to do is increment counter, so plus plus counter. So that way, you know, you're not stuck on zero the whole time it goes, you know, title zero, title one, title two. That's why we increment that, of course. Probably didn't even explain that. Now we actually need to change title and set this equal to get parameter title plus counter, just like before. So why do we need to do this? Because remember, what our loop is going to do is it's going to keep looping until it finds a title that doesn't exist. So it's going to say, okay, does title zero exist? Yup, that's Bucky's website. Does title one exist? Yup, that's Bucky's Twitter. Does title two exist? Well, no, that doesn't exist. So now if it doesn't exist, title is going to be equal to null. It's going to break out of the loop. That means it's done 
looping through all the websites. So in the next video, I'm going to show you guys how to add this applet to an actual website and get it running and working. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you then.